This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony and today I am going to be reviewing the Torn Corner Machine by Juan Pablo. Then I'm going to be announcing the winners of the Dexa cards from last week's competition. Uh, you'll, yep, I'll tell you all about that in the final part of the review. And then, of course, we have uh, a few magical conventions coming up. We have the sessions coming this weekend and we have an amazing convention in Vegas, the Sam's Convention, straight after. And then uh, we are, of course, getting ready for Blackpool, which is going to be crazy so really really cannot wait uh, uh actually cannot wait to get vegas over with because the amount of production that's involved in creating all these new tricks that we've got going on is just crazy we have some amazing tricks here i'll show you all about this one very excited about this as well and one of the routines that comes with it um so I'll talk you through that after the review. Anyway, let's get started. This is the Torn Corner Machine by Juan Pablo. For this uh, review, I will not be using a trailer. As such, I'm simply going to talk you through the device and what you can do. So without giving you all the details, uh, I'm sure you can guess a Torn Corner Machine is brilliant. It allows you to actually um, make corners match make whole cards match, make halves match. Uh, everything matches with the tears. And when I look at this gimmick, you probably can't see it because I'm wearing black here. It is ingenious. It is so cool. So I'm not going to show you the gimmick completely from here, but um, on the other side here, you have a very secret way. You slot your playing card inside this device. So by slotting your card inside the device, uh, you then use a special gimmick uh, that works and now it just allows you to do the magic. So I'm not going to give away any more than that on this show. And now in terms of let's just go for, uh, no, we'll talk about the build quality after. Uh, what I'm going to say is this card now, imagine a playing card has been selected. And I actually did this in a live performance uh, a few weeks ago in here. And I had a playing card selected by it somebody and uh, let's just imagine now that and I'm going to move these cards backwards here for a reason uh, they take a playing card and uh, then I tear that card like this like that then I let them hold onto this card and what I do is of course I'm going to do a pass like this and at the same time now I go into my pocket to get a sharpie or whatever it may be and I tap it. And now I show them a different piece entirely. I have it around, I don't know where the piece is. It's a, a piece that looks slightly different, jaggedy edges, and it's actually a joker now. And I kind of just turn it and now you can see the jaggedy edges of the joker. It kind of like looks like something happens. And I always talk about the jokers replacing playing cards in the deck. And then I taped the corner of the card that matches their chosen card to the bottom of four, one of four chairs in the room. And I got them to use an equivoke and to land up on that one chair and it brought down the house. They absolutely couldn't believe that that corner matched that card. And it didn't need to be signed for any reason because the matching of a corner to a spectator is perfect. So I'm just gonna make the corner land somewhere and it's gonna be underneath these cards here and there's the corner. So this corner now could have been under the chair, it could have been in an envelope from the very beginning, it could have been anywhere. And if we just change the camera angle and match that up to here, it matches up perfectly with the card that they've been holding on to. So that is just, it's obviously it's a different card now because I've just uh, torn up the two different cards. But of course you would be using duplicate cards, like two six of diamonds. Anyway. It's going in too much detail there. That's all I'm going to say is that you can make any corner match from anywhere. You could have this in another, I don't know, you could have it anywhere. Uh, it could have been mailed to you and put an envelope on the wall and then somebody brings it into you and now that corner matches that corner. You could, I mean, the, the ideas are endless with this. So for me, the device worked a treat. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, there are probably a couple of little things I would just say is that the build quality of it is okay. Um, the top part of it is made of three layers of acrylic and I'm not sure if you can see but this layer here has come unglued pretty quickly. So uh, I mean it's not the end of the world to get some um, super glue and stick that back down again but I want to be careful because I want to make sure that it doesn't stop 
this sliding inside the device. So um, that, all I will say is it has come apart here a little bit. Oh, and it's coming apart more now as well with playing around. So it's kind of like I need to glue this now on that edge and the bottom edge without it stopping me sliding a card inside it uh, because it fits the card perfectly. But that top and that bottom just, it just needed to be glued a bit better. But I don't think that's an issue. It doesn't affect the performance and the way it works. So all in all, the device itself is simple. It's easy. It's something that I can be setting up before a gig very, very easily. And uh, it comes with great instructions, teaches you how to use the gimmick very clearly, and some ideas for routines as well. So let's give it a rating out of 10 uh, instead of uh, mumbling on. This is quite, quite simply, uh, I'm just going to knock a little bit off for the glue and the, I think it could have been made out of maybe a thicker acrylic or something that would just, I don't know, if it was used using proper acrylic, this is the printing side inside of me now, and proper acrylic glue, it would never come undone. It would be bonded permanently. Because it's not acrylic, it's sort of like a cheaper sort of acrylic, not real acrylic, it, um, it, it just comes unstuck quite easily. So that would be my only criticism. Otherwise, it's easy to carry around. If you're going to go on flights with it and take it abroad, make sure you pack it with something hard around it so it doesn't get smashed and shattered because uh, this could truly be part of a large, large performance. So I'm going to give it a rating out of 10. I'm going to give it, um, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. So 8.5 out of 10 for Torn Corner Machine. Da, da, da. Well done. It is a brilliant, brilliant gimmick. So let's go on to the uh, review, uh, the competition part. And the competition simply is these two decks of cards. And I just said, if you comment on YouTube or on Facebook, you're in with a chance. So the random winners will be displayed on screen or in the show more section now. So check out the show more section. You will see the winners of this deck of cards. Uh, before we move on to the final part of this as well, and now is a great time. If you like the review shows, please do click subscribe and click the little alert button next to it. So the subscribe and alert, it really helps with the channel, the growth. I know we're getting very near that 10,000 and when we do, we're going to have a special party. I promise you it's going to be amazing. So thank you for all your support. Let's move on to the final part of the review show. We have conventions coming up. Uh, lots of amazing conventions, super excited, and we have new products available as well. Um, I'm not going to show you a lot of these products uh, for very quickly, should I say, because uh, some of them will be released uh, as an effect in the future. So it's a very sneak peek, and that's all it is. Uh, the sneak peek for this before it gets released at Murphy's will be... Ba, ba, ba. Hall Pass by Julio Montoro and myself. This is a wonderful device that is a produce, load and switch device. And uh, it acts as a hall pass that you wear around your neck and uh, you can produce a playing card at the end, switch things in real time, even around their neck. And at the very, very end, of course, everything can be examined if need be. It is uh, something that's versatile, it works with money, predictions, lottery and so much more. So check it out on our stand. Uh, this is Hall Pass by Julio Montoro. Then we have... Da, 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 the Deadly Mark Deck version 1.5. So if you're not familiar with the Deadly Mark Deck, oh, this is phenomenal. It came out uh, a good number of years ago. It was a sellout at Blackpool, but the problem was it takes one hour to make every deck. Uh, we've managed to make the process a little bit quicker, but we use the latest printing systems to make these massive machines, and uh, we just simply couldn't make them fast enough. So without giving away all the secrets, there is a hidden marking system on this deck and this marking system allows you to work out what any playing card is inside here just by one rub of your thumb from here to here. The most important part is there's no pegging on the card, no visible marks. The cards are not damaged in any way on the front or on the back. You just have a very special process of a marking system that you can feel. That is a two of diamonds. Every single time you just can be blindfolded completely. And that is a ace of spades just works. Uh, the great part about this new version is that uh, this Deadly Mark deck uh, comes with a bonus. 
So it comes with two extra uh, cards, which are the Jokers, and these have very special touch mind-reading ridges. So I don't know what that means. They are mind-reading ridges that you can have, you could be blindfolded, and you can feel them so easily. So you can use them as key cards, you can use them uh, for touching, and you never ever miss them. As you're dealing the cards, you can always find those key cards blindfolded. Now, they come with the Deadly Mark deck now, as well as we are giving you a bonus, Equilibrium, for free. So Equilibrium is available for free, and that was a separate trick by Daniel Meadows, and now you're going to get that as part of the Deadly Mark deck uh, pack. Deadly Mark deck retails at £50. It's not a cheapie. It takes a lot of work to manufacture these, and they are manufactured on the world's most uh, popular cards. Uh, however, if you need them uh, customising on your own deck of cards, we can also do that as well. Just get, have to get in touch with us. It's a, a personalised process for, for you. But otherwise, uh, yeah, bicycle reds or blues, and we're actually going to put the link on the website and make these available on our site very shortly. They truly are great, but you'll get to see them. If you see us at the sessions, come along and have a little play with these. They are phenomenal, and we have improved the marking system tenfold. So uh, it is... A hidden gem. We're going to create a Facebook page for it, a groups, and also lots of shared videos and routines will be coming in the future. So finally, let's go on to something really exciting. Da, da, da! The Mark Elsden 2019 lecture is here. Uh, this will be available at a very special price at the Sessions Convention and at Sam's Convention. And that is... Uh, the only place it's going to be available for now. It will be on the website in the future, but for now at the Sessions Convention, we have a special deal, and this is going to be very reasonable, and it also comes with a B deck of cards that's been gimmicked in a special way, and it comes with a bicycle uh, ESP deck, plus many other gaffes. And uh, it is six wonderful tricks. One of them that is just, I mean, it's that draw mind blowing. But this one is a beautiful oil and water um, using a principle that is fantastic. And uh, the deck of cards and all the gimmicks come inside it. It's going to be a tremendous value for money. And there's going to be that available with the upgrade to the masterclass, should you wish, for which is three and a half hours on top. Uh, so check it out uh, at Sessions Convention. That is the Mark Elson only 2019 lecture. Da, 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 Da! Very excited. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this week's Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony. Please like and subscribe our channel and I will see you soon. Oh, most important thing is Happy New Year. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas and I will see you uh, in the next review. Bye-bye. This show is sponsored by printbymagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing cards.